and welcome again to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Hutzel and I'm glad you've chosen to spend some time with us as we take a look at the Walther Talon Magnum. Now we've looked at the 22 and 25 caliber versions, but both of those had gas rams. Today we look at just the stock spring version. It runs about $210 at Pyramid Air and I've affectionately nicknamed it the Beast. Let's take a close up look at this rifle. The Walther Talon Magnum is simply a beast of an air gun. It's big, heavy, and made of composite and steel. The stock is technically a right-handed stock with a slight raised cheek piece, but it should be equally usable for you lefties out there. It is an upgrade from my original Falcon Hunter and is designed to absorb recoil better. The original stock was prone to crack from the recoil of the standard spring. Gas rim models had less of an issue. The rifle is equipped with front and rear fiber optic sights, with the rear sight being fully micro-click adjustable. The rifle ships as a combo with a Walther 3-9 by 32 scope. The scope was not up to the task, so I simply replaced it with my Leaper's 3-9 by 40 AO MD IR scope. The rail on the Walther has an integrated scope stop and will take either an 11mm or Weaver style mount which is very cool. The scope stop is critical if you are using standard 11 millimeter mounts. The trigger is the upgraded Quattro trigger and is a major improvement over the original trigger. Because of the size, weight, and recoil, it's difficult to shoot well, but it's impressive when it hits its intended target. Let's talk a little bit about performance. The Walther Talon Magnum is yet another hypervelocity rifle. Now this class of rifle generally puts velocity over accuracy and boasts high numbers like 1400 feet per second with lightweight lead free pellets and 1200 feet per second with standard lead pellets. Now we tested our Talon's hypervelocity with the H&N Field Target Trophy green pellets which weigh in at about 5.56 grain. I'm not usually a fan of lead-free pellets, but these pellets from H&N at least have a uniform look and don't have the obvious manufacturing defects you see on Gamos PBA ammo. Here are my results with the H&N Field Target Trophy Green. We had a high of 1,380 feet per second, a low of 1,345 feet per second, an average of 1,362 feet per second. Now that gave us an extreme spread of 35 feet per second with a standard deviation of only 10 feet per second. The maximum energy we achieved was 23.5 foot-pounds with a sound level up to 119 dB. For our standard lead pellet velocity tests, I used the industry standard RWS hobby pellet which is 7 grains. Here are my results with the RWS hobbies. I had a high of 1194 feet per second a low of 1184 feet per second, an average of 1189 feet per second, an extreme spread of only 10 feet per second, and a standard deviation of only 4 feet per second. The maximum energy from the RWS Hobbies was 22.2 foot-pounds, and our sound level reached to 118 dB. The most accurate pellets were the Crossman Premier hollow points at 7.9 grain. This was not what I expected, as they still cracked the sound barrier while remaining relatively accurate. Here are my results with the Crossman Premier hollow points. We had a high of 1145 feet per second, a low of 1125 feet per second, an average of 1137 feet per second. Our extreme spread was 20 feet per second and our standard deviation was 7 feet per second. The maximum energy we achieved from these pellets was 23 foot-pounds. Our sound level dropped just a little bit down to 117 dB. Let's go ahead and look at cocking, loading, shooting, and accuracy. The Walther Talon Magnum is a standard brake barrel rifle. One cock compresses the spring and sets the trigger 
and also engages the automatic safety. You load the pellet in the breech, return the barrel, sight the gun, set the safety to the fire position, and gently squeeze the trigger to fire the rifle. The whole process looks like this. Pretty straightforward. Now, like most hypervelocity springers, at least that's my name I call them, the Walther Talon is not an easy gun to shoot. It's heavy, has a huge recoil, and it just beats you up for every tiny flaw in your technique. The Walther Talon is also much more difficult to cock than, say, the Ruger Air Magnum. It's really tough on the shooter if you, if you want to just do some plinking in the backyard. It's definitely not for plinking, it's definitely designed for hunting. Now the only way to shoot the Talon with any accuracy is to master the artillery hold taught by Tom Gaylord. While we went over it in the review of the Ruger Air Magnum, I wanted to go over it again with the Talon. So if you want to get decent groups, practice the artillery hold until you can master it with complete consistency. This is how it's going to work. You want to find the balance point of your rifle. Every rifle is going to be a little different, so it's important to find your balance point, and you need to do it consistently. So we know we're about there. Okay, now, you bring the rifle to your shoulder. Just relax. It's not a race here. You want it to balance, okay? You want to grab the rifle and don't hold it too tight. You're not going to control the recoil. Don't try. You just want it to rest there. Don't grab it. Don't grab it up real far forward. Find that balance point and just relax. Now when I'm using a scope, I just ease into the shot. It's going to bounce around for the first little bit. That's okay. Don't try and force the shot. Just relax. I found it really particular with this rifle, you need to relax through your shots. When you get the sight picture you want, I personally take a breath and I just watch my sight picture adjust as I breathe. And when I see things settle down, and I get a more consistent sight picture with less movement, I know I'm about ready to take my shot. So what I'll do is I'll take a breath, and right at the top of my breath is when I squeeze the trigger, and I hold my breath through the entire shot process. This allows the gun to do its recoiling, do its moving around, while I stay as still as possible. And I make sure to let it finish. That's called follow through, and it's very, very important. Now, you need to let you need to go ahead and hold your position all the way through the shot and that's going to help tighten those groups up and allow the rifle to finish all of its moving around before you go look and see the results of your shot. The artillery hold works for about 99% of all spring guns. The more you practice, the better your shot groups will get. Now I've nicknamed the Walther Talon the Beast because it's just very hard to cock, manage, and shoot. It has potential with a lot of practice. But remember, again, the more violent the recoil, the more important it is to have consistent hold, trigger control, and follow through. Practice is going to be your key to success. Let's take a look at these shot groups. The first group is at 25 yards. The second group is at 50 yards.
Let's go ahead and look at the scorecard for the Walther Talon Magnum and we'll start with the cons for this rifle. This is a very heavy gun that makes you work for absolutely everything. It's very hard to cock, it's hard to manage, and it just punishes you with even the slightest problem in technique. The included optics are not even worth putting on the gun. So you need to add another $80 or so to get a decent scope and a nice set of rings. And I would go ahead and upgrade to the Weaver rings because it's going to hold that scope uh, a little steadier. Now this will bring your total from that 210 ish all the way up to like $300. Let's talk about the pros of this rifle. Even though it's completely miserable to shoot, so is a 30 6 but people love to shoot them for their sheer power. The Walther Talon is truly a beast of an air gun, and although it makes you work for any measure of success, when everything comes together, it's really awesome. Now, one major advantage of this rifle is the ability to swap out that spring for a gas ram. Now, the gas ram upgrade transforms the Walther Magnum into something entirely new. Now, that's something to consider if you have the money up front for the upgrade. So let's go ahead and just wrap this up. The Walther Talon Magnum in 177 is an awesomely powerful rifle. If, and this is a big if, if you can learn to tame it with a consistent, proper technique, it can also be accurate. At around $210 from Pyramid Air, the price is okay, but you're going to need to add a new scope and a new set of rings. Again, I'd use the Weaver rings and upgrade from the standard 11mm uh, dovetail. They'll give you more stability. So now you're looking at a price tag of $290 and $300. Personally, I think the Talon would be an awesome rifle with the Nitro Piston Upgrade. Now, I have an older Falcon Hunter in 22. It has the gas ram, and it's still going strong. I wish I could have this upgraded stock and trigger in my old Falcon Hunter. If you're considering the Talon, save a little bit more and just get the Nitro Piston up front. You won't be disappointed. I want to take just a moment and thank the folks over at Pyramid Air for sending us this rifle and, of course, sponsoring this review in our channel. When you're looking for your next air rifle or your next batch of supplies, please point your browser to www.pyramidair.com. They've been an incredible bunch of folks to work with and they really stand behind their products and their customers. Until next time, this is Rick Usler with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for spending some time with us today.